Hey guys, this is another video of the uh, DIY uh, electric skateboard uh, version 2 for me. And uh, so I made a couple changes since I took this out for its maiden run. Um, one thing is the electronic, or electronics box. I changed it and got something a little bit smaller. This is the box that I was using on, uh, or that I used before on my first version of this. And I I liked it. It fit the, everything really nicely. And uh, here's the, the one I had before, which worked okay. I just didn't like it. It was kind of goofy looking with, you know, it just looks funky with all the compartments. And it was a little bit big, so I want something as small as I can um, that will fit everything snugly. So I went back to this, and it works good. It fits my 5800 mAh battery packs in there, the 3S packs. And, uh, yeah, so anything. Anyways, uh, I also wanted to show this where the hole, I have a hole in here where the wires come out. Um, when I had this box set up, like this and I had the speed control set in here um, I took it on a, a like a seven mile ride and the speed control started to move and shift so when you're connecting um, these wires from the motor to your speed control and you have your speed control in here just make sure that these aren't under tension or pushing or pulling on the speed control because uh, if you have it set up like mine where there's nothing holding it but double-sided tape to the bottom of this box it'll still, it'll try to twist and move. So what this one did was it twisted and it moved and it slid, um, which kind of sucks because uh, then the fan was spinning in there and it, it was, you know, the fan was up tight against this lid and which probably wasn't really good for it. So anyways, when I hooked this up, I ended up moving this box forward and I left kind of a, this like half circle loop in here. So this is kind of free and there's some movement there and it's not you know, pushing or pulling on the speed control. So hopefully that'll work out a little bit better. And then another thing I did was I originally had these uh, wheels that came with a DIY kit and I swapped them out for, these are 83 millimeter and I swapped them for these 97 millimeter um, for a couple of reasons. Um, top speed on this with the with these wheels was like 18 miles an hour which is okay, I'm fine with that. Um, but I did want to get a little bit more speed than I had on my last board, because my last board was the same top speed, 18 miles an hour. So I figured, you know, this would uh, be a way to gear it up a little bit, give me a little bit, a couple more miles an hour, and get me over 20, and I, I would be happy with that. Plus this board, when I originally ordered it, um, I saw that it was, I knew it was red here, but I saw it had the, the orange in the, in the method decal, so I wanted to kind of color match that. And uh, so I got the orange wheels, which is okay, but I didn't realize that the top, um, the branding on the top of the board was red, so it looked kind of funky with the um, orange wheels and uh, the red uh, lettering on the top of the board, so it kind of made it match a little bit better. Plus this is red here too, so anyway, so that'll gear me up a little bit hopefully, and it gives me a little extra clearance here. I've already scraped a little bit on the motor mount, so I did tilt this down a little bit more. Larger wheels give me a little more clearance and a little more top speed all around. So, for I found these for 20 bucks, so for that price, uh, I figured it'd be worth a try. Um, one more thing, this is the radio that I was using, the the Fly Sky um, RC car radio, and I ended up getting this little guy um, again from uh, DIYElectricSkateboards.com. And uh, I forget what they call this, but they have one of two remotes. They have this, and then they have one that's a little bit smaller that has the, the steering wheel from the RC car. But this little guy is, like, perfect. Fits in your hand nice. Um, this is the throttle, so this is forward, neutral, brake. Then you let off and then pull back again for reverse. Um, this is, it's got two channels, so this is a second channel if you wanted to hook up lights. And the on-off switch is actually here on the bottom. This is the bind button. And then it has LED here. And I believe it stays on red, and I think it's supposed to blink when it gets low. So it does give you indication when it's low. And this hole here has got a little adjustment screw that you can fine-tune your throttle. So, I mean, I just bench-tested it. It works great bench-testing, but I'm excited to get it on the road and kind of 
see how that goes. So anyways, just those few changes. Um, I'm going to range test it again uh, right now, take it out and see if I can uh, find a little bit longer trail this time and uh, see if I can run my batteries all the way down to the low voltage cutoff and uh, I'll post up some information uh, down in the comments of uh, what I'm getting as far as range. Alright, thanks guys.